Okay, hi everybody. As you can see, I have new glasses. Yeah, got them today. I went uh, like I think it was two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, I went um, getting new glasses. Uh, they're kind of expensive. I've got them anyway. I don't care. Um, because those old ones are about to break. This episode of Jim, Jersey Bizarre Adventure. Episode 31, yo. Yo, this episode was insane. Like, ridiculous. The conclusion of Mar Mariah. I'm going to call her Mariah. Because I can say her. I don't know if that's how you say it. But, um, with this magnetism. Now, apparently, Abdul now is affected by the magnetism. And Joseph. And they're stuck together. <laughs> there were two scenes that I was dying. I was like, Really? Basically, the whole bit was that, um, in order to separate their bodies, because, the, like, with magnetism, this is the truth, there's the north part of it, and there's the south part of it. So, you know how the opposites attract. So, basically, they had to move down. Move so Abdul had to move his face down to the like is the lower body of um Joseph, and there was this scene where he has his face in his crotch, but it gets worse because then there's another scene where like we're free. And guess what? His front Abdul's front just attaches to fucking Joseph's behind. I'm like. Yo, and then this thing, like that, thing. that woman who was at the hot spring, that old woman, like you it is. It was too much. Eventually, they get loose. And at first, I thought with this whole magnetism thing, I didn't think um it was going to amount to anything. In other words, I don't think it was going to be like, oh, how can she kill them with magnetism? I really thought that. But then eventually, I found my answer. Uh, eventually, what happens is they end up they end up going to this area of where, where she's at, um, Maria, and there she's on this near this fountain, and, and she listen she was hot as fuck. I, listen, she really was. Um, and they end up trapping themselves. On the railroad track, and I'm like, oh, that's how she can do it. That's how she can kill with magnetism. So they have to go through this whole bit of um, getting out of that situation. And when it's on happening there, Abdul pretty much uses Magician Red and burns a hole in the ground, and they're able to stay there. And she gets really pissed off about it, and. This other scene, just, I was like, what? Her boobs were growing. And I'm like, and I'm thinking, oh, she says, oh, it's just because the magnetism is is very is getting stronger and stronger. And we find out her boobs aren't really growing. In her bosom, she had these nuts and she had bolts, like metal bolts you used to screw in things. And she they get fired at, and Joseph, he gets hurt, and that's when... Abdul using Magician Red to burn the bolts. Magician Red in this episode was so, I'm going to say this right now, so important. Because half the time, Abdul saved um, himself, and in that scene, Joseph, from different things that were happening. Like, Joseph's Purple Hermit came into play a few times where it was good. The other times I felt like, it wasn't working. Yeah. But what's on happening is the whole bit was was that she couldn't stay too far away from them because if she did, the magnetism would, would be null and void. If she stayed too close, she would be entrapped by the magnetism. So what's on happening is they follow they, they do a pincer attack pretty much. And she thinks she's got them. They're right below power, power lines, and she uses a, a knife to cut them. And power lines are attacking Joseph, they're attacking Abdul. Abdul 
gets attracted by a car. A car falls on him with the magnetism. I'm like, God damn, how are they going to get out of this? This scene confused me. I don't know how this happened, but Abdul, obviously, he must have done it by just somehow lifting himself up and attracting to Joseph. But Joseph, he does something where he attracts the water. I didn't understand that. He gets the water through the suit from the sewer um, on his fingers, and that lifts him up. And then him and Abdul pretty much attract to each other, and I really hated to see that. She get she, she pretty much gets squished, um, uh, Maria, and that's the end of that. And she didn't die surprisingly. I was like, whoa, she survived. She got broken bones and everything, but she didn't die. I was like, god damn. But it was interesting fight. Overall rating, as far as comedy goes, I give this a five out of five. This was funny as fuck all around. But as far as um, action was pretty good too. Now the next episode, we have another um, stand user who apparently encounters Polnareff and uh, Jotaro, and this guy is weird. Like he basically had. Well, it looks more like a, I don't want to say a pedo, but the way he, his expression was. But he has this shadow. Yeah, this shadow that came out of nowhere. And it, it, it's, it's behind him, and it's got these eyes on it. And I didn't quite understand what his ability is. It confuses me. Because in the next step, in the preview, we see Ponorif as a child. So I'm like totally confused. I'm like, child, where did this come from? Uh, why is he a kid? It doesn't make any sense. But I think it has more to do with the shadow that was appearing behind the guy. Because you see in the preview, it, it comes alive and it has an axe or something. So I'm thinking it's more like, I think his stand has something to do with fear. Yeah, I really do. I really think it has something to do with fear. Because you have Ponorif, he's a child, this thing's coming out of the shadow. You know, it, it might be along those lines. That what it might be. It might be along those lines. But overall, as far as this episode is concerned, overall, I go this a 4.5 out of 5. Uh, it was funny as fuck. A lot of interesting action things happening. And I, this is going to sound weird, but I am actually upset. That's how that, that Stan News died in this episode. Call me crazy, but she was hot as fuck. And, you know, I mean, there were, there was like one or two scenes where she had ugly faces. She had like an ugly face. Like, when I mean, she called them, you know, you pieces of shit or something. But, still, like, to feed her like that, I just like, no, man, how can you do it to her? I know she was evil. I know she was evil. I know she was evil. But she was hot as fuck. True shit. She was. And and man, and even she tells she even tells um Joseph that she was she was she was gonna go with him. But oh Dio! Dio Blando is just is just too strong. And uh she just didn't. It's a shame. It's a real damn shame. But yeah, that's pretty much the story, people. Bonkai Night 22. Good episode of JoJo next week. Next week, like I said, it's got me a little confused. Like, what is this guy's abilities? Because I'm like, it, it might be something of a time thing. Because why did we see Ponorip as a kid? Very peculiar. This standard is very peculiar. Because it's a shadow, comes alive. I'm very confused. We'll have to wait and see next week and find out what the real story behind uh, that whole scenario, that stand, is about. But I think, like, next week might be more concerned, more concentrated on Polnareff than uh, Jotaro. They'll probably, they might do what they did in the previous episodes, you know, with um, Anubis, but we'll see. 
I'm Bonkai922. I will see you guys later. That girl was too hot, and she got crushed. By her crush for Joe. No.